right hello everyone uh, today uh, we are uh, going to do a very important proof in uh, statics which is commonly very commonly also used in uh, engineering dynamics and also used in mechanical vibration a lot uh, in solid mechanics you can use it a lot so it is a very common pro proof which frequently comes in all the disciplines of uh, 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 mechanical engineering, civil engineering, automotive engineering, manufacturing engineering, this proof is very common, okay, and uh, we find it sometimes difficult to understand how does that happens. So today we are going to prove that uh, on an inclined, uh, prove that on an inclined plane, the horizontal angle relates to the angle of normal with the vertical axis, okay. So the, what this actually means is that uh, the horizontal angle which is this horizontal angle this horizontal angle theta relates to the angle of normal the angle of the normal is this this is the angle of normal with the vertical axis okay so this is the normal axis a b is the normal axis and if you look at it the h and the j is the vertical axis and also called as the weight axis okay so just to see a real picture uh, if you look there is a weight on inclined plane this angle is theta okay so if you look at it uh, this is the weight axis okay and this is the normal axis okay this is the normal axis the normal direction and uh, this theta is always going to be congruent or equal to this theta okay so how does it really happens so it there is a proof mathematical proof for that and uh, we what we will say that uh, we have a horizontal axis which is ci and on it we have an inclined plane cd okay and there is an angle theta okay and then what we do is that uh, we have uh, also placed uh, this uh, ab axis which is the normal axis and hj is the vertical or the weight axis and uh, we will say this theta is equal to this theta so how does it happens okay so what we do on this figure we take uh, uh, another uh, line which is parallel to ci okay and uh, when we draw another line which is parallel to ci that line is called as ef okay that line is called as ef if you look at it uh, there is uh, this cd the inclined plane and these two lines okay if you look at it this uh, ef and ci and this inclined plane if you look at it is nothing but it is forming a transversal it is forming a transversal you know geometrically what the transversal is so in the that scenario this theta this theta will equal this theta will be equal to this theta so we, uh, and why they will be equal because of this corresponding angle ca are the corresponding angles okay so what we have done new from this uh, figure is that we have drawn this axis ef and have said that ci and uh, fe are being cut by a transversal uh, which is the uh, cd okay so again then we go to this figure if you go to this figure we see that uh, we can say over here that uh, this axis cd and ab uh, are basically perpendicular to each other we can say that aoc is 90 and we can say aod aod is also 90 so we can say this AB is perpendicular to CD. Okay. So now we can say that total angle from A to D is 90. That is from A to D is this angle. You can see this angle. This angle is 90. Total angle from B to D. Okay. What for this is our B. Okay. From B, from this B to D. Okay. From this B to D. You can see this is, this angle is 90. From B to D is 90 okay if this scenario now the total angle on this axis okay which is the normal axis a b is going to be uh, 90 okay this angle you see this angle this is 90 plus theta and plus this angle which is alpha 90 plus theta plus alpha and the entire angle from this point to this point on a b is nothing but it is going to be equal to 180 180 okay so now we can uh, we are interested in this alpha okay so we can say alpha is equals to 180 minus 90 minus theta so alpha comes out to be equals to 90 minus theta so this alpha 
comes out to be equals to 90 minus theta okay so 90 plus theta plus alpha equals to 180 is equation 1 and uh, then we can say that uh, angle eog okay what is angle e o g if you look at it e o g is 90 degrees okay and we can say that if this is alpha and we add this angle beta it will be equals to 90 so we, we assume that uh, alpha and add an angle beta so that it's going to be equals to 90 degrees okay but we know what is alpha alpha is equals to 90 minus theta so over here if we say beta will be equals to 90 minus alpha and put this value of alpha over here so it will be beta is equals to 90 minus 90 minus theta okay it will be 90 so if you simplify minus is outside so it will be minus 90 and uh, plus theta so beta will be equals to plus 90 minus 90 cancels so the proof comes out to be equals to beta is equals to theta so this is very important that this angle beta is comes out to be equals to theta so this proof is very commonly used in engineering and you must basically just do not uh, uh, learn it by heart that it's uh, theta but you must know mathematically how and geometrically how you can uh, prove that that this horizontal angle theta will always relates to the angle of the normal which is uh, this is the normal with the vertical axis which is also called as the weight axis and i have given you a proof uh, a real world scenario picture over here if you go to the next page that this is uh, the inclined plane this is the horizontal axis theta and this is the weight axis mg w m equals to mg this is the normal axis and this theta will always be equal to theta just do not learn it by heart but know it geometrically how you can solve it so i hope uh, this proof will be this proof uh, is very beneficial for you in your future and uh, you shall able to understand your concepts of all engineering related disciplines uh, more thoroughly and more conceptually uh, i thank you all and have a good day